just gonna, you know you're going to just be a punching bag for the next four years. And, and for at, least, at least the next four weeks if I'm into doing the campaign and probably the next four years after that if I'm elected. And I, I guess the answer to that is a really simple one. And I guess I wanted to tell you why I'm running. And that's because I love Fremantle. And there's just so many things to love about Fremantle. And, I'm, and I assume that's why you all live down here. Yeah. It's because yeah. of that. Yeah. Very quickly, here's, here's some things I love about Fremantle. I love that we live in a beautiful city with fantastic built heritage, with character, with charm, with fantastic old buildings. I, I mean, I remember when I was away living in Canberra and the whole time I could think about was wanting to get back to this fantastic place. I love that we're a city of the, of the arts and the culture, that, that we're a place where you feel like we're, we are a creative capital. There's a great book by Richard Florida talking about this. We're a city of, 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 uh, of bohemians working together, being a really interesting place. Yeah. I love that we're a regional centre. I love where else in this, almost in the whole of Perth, you can't live, work and shop in one place. But you can in Fremantle because we are a real regional centre. I love that we have an industrial port. I love that we have beaches that are some of the best in the world and as well as, well as a river running through the middle of us. I love that we're a leader in sustainability. For those of you who don't know, we're the first carbon neutral uh, local government in Western Australia. We also, we also we also have, have the biggest solar PV array in Western in, in Perth right now, going on the roof of our leisure centre. I mean, so there's some exciting things happening. And I love that we're a, we're a community, that we're engaged, we're diverse, we're multicultural, and that's really, really, really special. Um, now, of course, loving a place is not a reason to become mayor. And, and um, although, although, although it's important, I guess the real... My concern, though, is that all of those things I love are, in some way, in different ways, under threat. Um, while, I, while I love our beautiful old buildings, I, it makes me sad when I see that half of the top floors of them are empty and not, not being used or they're being neglected. And I think, wouldn't it be a much greater city if we could actually make the West End alive and vibrant and had shops upstairs and downstairs and offices and, and life on the street seven days a week? Wouldn't, wouldn't I mean, in terms of climate change. The change of climate change to a place like, like Fremantle is huge. Our beaches um, and, and even our heritage buildings actually, I won't go into the details, are all under threat from the, some of the impacts of, of, of climate change. I'm, I'm concerned that none of my friends can afford to live here anymore. Um, and and that unless you inherit money, it's, 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 it's becoming really unaffordable that we don't have a diversity of places to live. Um, and, that, and that, for me, is really sad. And I want Fremantle to remain a diverse, a diverse place, so that you all don't have to live Hammy Hill and, and beyond. Um, <laughs> nothing wrong with Hammy Hill. We can't vote in Fremantle. Well, I'd, I'd like you to have the option of living in Fremantle. <laughs> and I'm also concerned. I mean, and lots of people have said this to me tonight that we feel more and more like our place is a regional centre. Our shops are kind of shutting down. It feels like we're in a bit of a city that's kind of slowly being evacuated. I, I don't know if people have that feeling, but especially in the east end of the city that it could be so much more. And I'm concerned about that. I'm concerned that with that, jobs are going. Our hospital's been downgraded and moving out to Murdoch. Our working port might go, our regional police station. All of these things that make us a regional centre are, are, are under threat. And I'm concerned that if all that happens, that we become what's called a dormitory suburb, somewhere where you go to sleep and, um, and, and not much more. I mean, maybe a bit of a, a nice, pleasant entertainment museum-style tourist town, but not much more. And I want us to be more than that. But while I'm concerned about these things, we can do, we can actually make sure that these concerns are addressed. And I guess, and this is why I'm running for Mayor of Fremantle, because the trajectory we're on is not an inevitable one. In fact, we can absolutely change that. And I think with the right with the right leadership. So a couple of key things we're going to do: encourage business back into the city, where the top floors of, of our shops will be full of, will be full of people. We'll have innovative new businesses. Imagine architects, creative industry, fashion, Fremantle becoming a real hub for these things. Imagine big employers moving back down to Fremantle, where there's currently big off, big whole blocks that are almost empty, like Westgate Mall. Imagine actually that employing lots of people and adding vibrancy to our city. Imagine Fremantle as a leader in sustainable development, yeah. um, in, which, in which we take that, that trajectory on forward, but we have light rail, we have a city run on renewable energy. All of these things are possible. We have great new green buildings in, in our city centre. And I guess for me, making sure that we are socially diverse, that we retain that fantastic diversity that me, for me, 
makes Fremantle such a special place that it is. So that there is affordable housing. By that, I mean housing that teachers and nurses and people on average wages can afford in this place. That we have really good community services and that, you know, that, that we keep that, that sense of community really happening here in Fremantle. So I guess also making sure that as a mayor and as a council that we make sure that Fremantle people are really engaged in Fremantle's future because that's what makes Fremantle special, that Fremantle people care about their town and they care about their future and I want that to happen. So, yeah, some of the reasons that I'm running for mayor and um, which is really exciting and I really do appreciate you all coming out tonight and I think that this is a really exciting time and that I've got the energy and the vision and, and the drive to actually make Fremantle an even better place than it is today. Even taking the things that I love and actually driving them forward, so it's really exciting. I wanted to make do some thank yous as well before I go. I wanted to thank uh, Morrison, Lunar on Ethics, Mills Records, Trish Coucher and Rob Guthrie for donating the prize for the raffle. Thank you to Abby May, Sunset yeah. Events, the Norfolk Hotel, X-Ray for organising all the tickets and for the whole campaign team who just worked so hard and there's a whole bunch of people, I must say, I feel like I just rock up to these things now, but they did all this fantastic group of people working behind the scenes making all this possible. So thank you to you all. And um, I must say thank you to all of you for coming along and making, reminding me about how much, there is, how much energy there is out there for actually a really positive, different future for Freeman. So thank you. Again.